In this video, we will highlight 10 tiny crypto altcoins that could make you a millionaire in the next bull run. These altcoins have the potential to 50 to 300x your investment in 2025. Let's jump right in with our first project we would like to highlight, called Nakamoto Games. The idea of earning money while playing games has gained immense popularity among gamers in recent times. This trend has given rise to play-to-earn games like Axie Infinity, which is a perfect example of how players can earn real money while having fun. Among the various play-to-earn platforms, Nakamoto Games stands out as a blockchain-based gaming platform that has caught the attention of many players. The platform offers a wide range of games that provide players with the opportunity to earn a steady stream of income. To participate in the games offered by the Nakamoto Games platform, players need to connect their Web3 wallet that holds Naka tokens before choosing a game to play. The Naka token serves as the utility token of the platform and is required to power the games and purchase special weapons or features for certain games. Additionally, to maintain the token's economic stability and deflationary structure, Naka has decided to partially burn the Naka tokens as more tokens are added to the reward pool. This is an innovative way to ensure that the value of the tokens remains intact while providing players with a steady stream of income. Apart from providing players with a variety of games, Naka has also set up a governance system that allows participants to vote on different proposals, such as burning Naka tokens. This system ensures that players have a say in the platform's decision-making process, making it a more democratic and community-driven platform. Moreover, Nakamoto Games has created its own metaverse called Nakaverse. This metaverse offers players a more immersive gaming experience with play-to-earn games from the platform and more. The metaverse also includes shops, restaurants, NFT museums, and digital land plots for sale. Owners of these land plots will have the advantage of creating valuable resources faster than other players, making it a valuable investment for players looking to earn a steady income through play-to-earn games. In conclusion, Naka is a groundbreaking project that truly stands out in the world of play-to-earn gaming. It boasts an impressive array of games, catering to a wide range of tastes and preferences. The project is not just about fun and games, it also introduces a deflationary token structure that promotes a sustainable economic model. But what truly sets Naka apart is its innovative metaverse. This metaverse is a virtual world where players can interact, explore, and create their own experiences. It's a place where the boundaries between gaming and reality blur, providing endless possibilities for players. Therefore, for those with an interest in the play-to-earn gaming space, Naka is undeniably a project that deserves attention. Nakamoto Games currently has a market cap of 50 million. A market cap of 10 billion can be reached in a bull run. That is a beautiful 200x from here. Our second tiny altcoin of this video is called Parcel. Let's jump right in with our first project on Solana we would like to highlight, called Parcel. Parcel is a RWA project on the Solana blockchain that democratizes real estate investment by introducing fractional ownership of properties through blockchain technology. It recently launched its native PRCL token, which has several essential functions, including governance, staking, and transaction fees. The PRCL token allows users to participate in decision-making, earn rewards, and pay for transactions within the ecosystem. By tokenizing real estate, Parcel offers investors the ability to gain exposure to global real estate markets without the need to own physical properties, offering a cost-effective and accessible alternative to traditional real estate investing. Parcel's use of the Solana blockchain ensures a decentralized, transparent, and efficient system taking advantage of Solana's low transaction fees and high-speed network. This makes Parcel distinct from traditional real estate platforms and other blockchain-based projects. The ability to tokenize real estate means users can buy, sell, or trade fractions of properties, allowing for diversification across multiple markets with minimal capital. The introduction of the PRCL token enhances the Parcel platform's utility by integrating it into various aspects of the ecosystem. For instance, by holding and staking PRCL tokens, users are rewarded with part of the transaction fees generated on the platform. This staking mechanism not only incentivizes long-term participation, but also helps secure the network. The governance feature of PRCL tokens empowers the community to influence key decisions, ensuring that the platform evolves according to the needs and preferences of its users. Looking forward, 
Parcel plans to expand its offerings, potentially adding more real estate assets from different regions to provide a broader range of investment opportunities. The platform also aims to continually refine its user experience, ensuring that both novice and experienced investors can easily navigate and utilize its features. Through strategic partnerships and technological advancements, Parcel is set to reshape the landscape of real estate investment, making it more aligned with the digital economy and the preferences of the modern investor. Parcel has a market cap of 20 million. We think that a market cap of 2 billion is possible in 2025. That is a nice 100x from here. Our first tiny AI project in this video is up next, called DAI by Zero One Labs. Zero One is a decentralized artificial intelligence ecosystem with a focus on data governance. They have developed a comprehensive DAI product suite, featuring a secure, modular, and interconnected platform for DAI tools and apps. Together with their Zero One Construct program and proprietary cipher chain, this suite forms a resilient flywheel, fueling the forthcoming DAI revolution with momentum. Their mission is to simplify the development process and enhance the discoverability, growth, and monetization of DAI products while ensuring user data remains in the hands of its rightful owners, the users. At DAI, they believe that AI combined with blockchain technology is poised to become the largest vertical in the markets. Blockchain-based tokens will serve as the native digital currency, enabling AI systems to transact. DAI aims to promote the development and expansion of decentralized AI dApps. This objective is divided into three primary areas. Establishing a sturdy infrastructure that enables creators to contribute, train and host AI applications, tools, and models. Facilitating the financial incentivization of open AI networks through crypto economics. And providing a resilient, decentralized infrastructure for the operation of dApps. Zero One emphasizes three fundamental concepts for decentralized AI, namely data governance, decentralized node infrastructure, and AI tooling. Decentralization enhances data sharing across diverse datasets and fosters shared AI models for improved accuracy and performance. It also encourages decentralized model training for efficiency and privacy, creating new revenue streams for data providers. The creation of a distributed network of nodes improves security and scalability, while the focus lies in developing decentralized, globally accessible tools free of charge. The primary goal is to create an open access, decentralized toolkit for AI. This strategy democratizes AI development by offering free access to advanced tools and resources. Under the Zero Economic Framework, Users are able to stake DAI while offering staking rewards and the opportunity to participate in lock drops to obtain ecosystem incentives. Adopting a strategy similar to that of Celestia, holders of the DAI token will be given precedence for early participation in three forthcoming Zero Construct program project launches that are currently under wraps. In conclusion, DAI is emerging as a significant player in the AI space that keeps building and expanding, mounting a challenge to BitTensor's dominance. DAI currently has a market cap of 20 million. This project has a promising future, and it can reach a market cap of at least 6 billion during a bull run. That is an astonishing 300x from here. As our fourth project, we would like to present Trias. Trias is a decentralized infrastructure designed to deliver trustworthy and reliable cloud computing. The goal of Trias is to foster a world where machines can be trusted, countering potential risks like data leaks and privacy violations often associated with untrusted machines. TRIAS, an acronym for Trustworthy and Reliable Intelligent Autonomous Systems, is an innovative Web3 project centered around the concept of trust in machines. It aims to create a reliable general-purpose computation infrastructure where systems only implement expected behaviors. TRIAS also offers compatibility with all platforms, including mobile, IoT devices, and servers and features a self-sustaining token economy. Operating as a decentralized software as a service, Trias ensures high scalability, continuous availability, and improved security, thereby enhancing the traditional SaaS model. Trias Force, a software suite developed by the Trias team, embodies this DSS model, providing blockchain-based services to various sectors through its key offerings. Trias Force Auditing, Trias Force Security, and Trias Force ERP. The Leviatum layer, part of the Trias architecture, uses a web of trusted execution environments to ensure the accurate execution of software applications. 
The Prometh layer is a traceable development framework that documents all crucial data related to the lifespan of software on a blockchain. The Mag Carta layer is a consensus-driven programming model, which allows the creation of unique consensus strategies for advanced enterprise dApps. Trias has initiated several innovative projects such as Triathon Lab, Ethanim Network, and Tusima, which operate as nodes. Triathon aims to empower project builders and token holders to drive the testing and auditing process of crypto projects throughout their life cycles. Tusima is a Layer 2 controllable privacy financial network based on ZK Rollup, offering superior on-chain data privacy protection. Lastly, Ethanum aims to build a new blockchain platform that supports the full decentralization of large-scale applications, redefining the concepts of people, space, and applications in the Web3 era. Trias currently has a market cap of 50 million. We believe that Trias has the potential to reach a market cap of at least 5 billion in the future. That is a exactly a 100x from here. Project number 5 is our first RWA project of today, called Swarm Markets. Swarm Markets presents itself as the world's first licensed DeFi platform, regulated by the German Federal Financial Supervisory Authority. This project functions as a compliant AMM-based DEX for Ethereum, targeting both institutions and individual investors seeking a safer way to participate in DeFi. Swarm Market supports various types of tokens, including crypto assets and tokenized real-world assets. It was an early entrant into the rapidly growing tokenized RWA segment. In 2021, the project announced it was adding up to 250 liquidity providers, who pledged $15 million. It also launched the first version of its DEX on Ethereum. As of 2024, Swarm Markets authorizes many different types of tokens for listing, including tokenized versions of stocks like Apple, Tesla, and Nvidia. So, how does Swarm Markets operate? Automated market makers are a common feature of decentralized exchanges in the DeFi sector. Most of them, like Uniswap, Balancer, or Curve, use AMMs solely for cryptocurrencies and tokens. Swarm Markets, however, targets investors who wish to trade on-chain tokens representing a range of assets, including stocks, bonds, commodities, and more. The underlying AMM operates similarly to Balancer, with liquidity providers contributing ERC-20 tokens representing crypto assets or securities to liquidity pools, where they are available for traders wanting to swap these assets. Participation in Swarm Markets requires a passport, a KYC process linked to a self-custodial crypto wallet, such as MetaMask or Ledger. Swarm also offers business accounts for institutional participation and operates a permissionless, decentralized, over-the-counter trading service for institutions wanting to execute large on-chain transactions. After a clarification from the European Supervisory Market Authority that the new markets and crypto assets regulation would not apply to decentralized applications and services, the project implemented DOTC orders. Due to legal restrictions, Swarm Markets is not available in all countries. It doesn't service US residents, but residents in many European, Asian, and Latin American countries are allowed. SMT currently has a market cap of 30 million. We believe that SMT has the potential to reach a market cap of at least 4 billion in the future. That is a 133x from here. We are also heavily investing in another tiny RWA project called Credify. The Credify platform is an innovative blend of DeFi protocol and traditional fintech solutions. Within the conventional financial ecosystem, small and medium-sized enterprises (SMEs) and DeFi lenders often face challenges in accessing lending and borrowing services. Notable problems include inconsistent DeFi yields, high interest rates, and a limited number of lenders who can meet the demands of SMEs. Credi addresses these issues through decentralized and secure lending. Its services are provided in three stages, portfolio lending, project-based P2P lending, and trade finance. In the portfolio lending stage, Credify allows users to lend stablecoins to various portfolios. These portfolios range from low to high risk, and lenders can select them based on their risk tolerance. Credi assists lenders with risk assessment, credit score data, and other relevant information. All credit portfolios, depending on the risk, will yield an APY of approximately 10%. In the project-based P2P lending stage, Credify leverages the decentralized nature of blockchain technology to offer peer-to-peer -peer lending services. 
This stage aims to enable users to connect directly for lending and borrowing without intermediaries. Credify also offers zero collateral loans in this stage. In the final stage, trade finance, Credi combines traditional financial services with decentralization to offer lending and borrowing services to a wide customer base without barriers. This stage includes trade finance, meaning lenders and borrowers can enter into a deal and underwrite agreements such as a letter of credit or letter of guarantee. The Credify platform serves as a bridge between crypto lenders and SMEs with its versatile functions. Tokenizing real-world assets not only enables fractional ownership, but also enhances liquidity. SMEs can use these asset tokens as collateral for loans on the Credify platform, thereby improving liquidity and enabling diversified portfolios. Leveraging blockchain and smart contract technology, the Credify platform ensures seamless transactions. Credify currently has a market cap of 10 million. We predict that Credify will have a market cap of at least 2 billion in 2025. That is a beautiful 200x from here. As our seventh project, we would like to highlight Diani Protocol. Dion is leading a pioneering initiative to transform the energy industry with an incentivized energy trading ecosystem on an EVM-compatible L1 blockchain, powered by Deepin. This innovation aims to lower the energy sector's carbon footprint and encourage retail consumers to become prosumers, generating and selling their own electricity. The Dion protocol aims to democratize the energy sector, enabling retail consumers to actively participate. By installing renewable energy generation equipment like solar panels and windmills, retail users can join the green energy economy and start their own energy business. This shift from a consumer-focused model to a prosumer-driven approach could significantly change the industry. Dion uses smart contracts to create a self-governing, paperless ecosystem, reducing data inconsistencies and operational costs. The automation and transparency of smart contracts simplify processes and reduce human errors. The DNA protocol uses a hybrid blockchain architecture with access control to ensure privacy, security, and data visibility. The Dion protocol, an EVM-compatible L1 blockchain, is at the heart of the Dion ecosystem. Using principles from the Avalanche consensus mechanism, Dion achieves higher throughput, scalability, and transaction security. It supports over 5,000 transactions per second on the L1 chain, with further scalability possible through the integration of scaling solutions. This enhanced scalability ensures the network can accommodate more nodes without compromising security or other key features. Nabra, the energy trading marketplace within the Dion ecosystem, directly connects suppliers and consumers, allowing energy unit trades based on their roles. Nebra integrates with external services such as smart meter management systems, invoicing engines and contract managers, providing participants with a seamless experience. Dion works with power suppliers who use renewable sources to generate electricity. These suppliers must comply with local regulations outlined in their smart contracts, which automatically execute based on predefined triggers. When consumers pay for electricity, the system divides the payment among the supplier, distributor, and platform, ensuring the respective wallets receive the funds. By creating an EVM-compatible L1 blockchain, Dion aims to lower the carbon footprint and facilitate the development of other dApps on their blockchain, offering improved decentralization, scalability, resilience, and speed. Diani currently has a market cap of 50 million. A market cap of at least 6 billion can be reached in a bull run. That is a nice 120x from here. As our eighth project, we would like to highlight Azuro. The human desire to take risk for a potential gain is getting bigger and is more widespread than ever. A generation of degens within and outside of crypto is upon the world. Azuro enters the space with the mission to break down barriers by creating a protocol dependent on community participation and ownership. Azuro is an infrastructure liquidity layer for on-chain predictions. It uses a new liquidity pool design, the liquidity tree to create and maintain market liquidity. Azuro supports thousands of sports markets and other games, plus a rich feature set. Anyone can use it permissionlessly to create various apps, embedded integrations, or derivative products. The Azuro protocol is a suite of upgradable smart contracts that form a protocol for creating prediction applications and products with ERC-20 tokens on EVM-compatible blockchains. 
Azuro components include web components that make it quick and easy to build applications on the Azuro protocol. The interface is just one of many ways to build a dApp. The Azuro protocol is a decentralized protocol that enables peer-to-pool prediction markets without intermediaries. It's built on EVM-compatible blockchains and consists of several smart contracts that handle different aspects of the prediction process, such as liquidity pools, odds, live betting, and payouts. The protocol uses a hybrid Oracle automated market maker solution to determine the odds of different outcomes and ensure the process is fair and transparent. Azuro currently has a market cap of 20 million. We predict that Azuro will have a market cap of at least 4 billion next year. That is a beautiful 200x from here. Tiny crypto project number 9 is called Graphlink. GLQ is a no-code protocol designed for blockchain development. It operates automatically, executing actions in response to triggered events. Essentially, GLQ utilizes its engine and an integrated development environment to offer automated services. To deploy a graph, users have to import any template or GLQ file using the IDE tool. The graph can then be run on the network using the engine tool. GLQ also enables users to access ticks and current statistics on centralized exchanges and DeFi applications. All information acquired from applications and blockchain connections is securely stored in the engine database as a safety measure. The Graphlink ecosystem consists of two primary components, the Graphlink chain and the Graphlink protocol. The Graphlink protocol, an automated process management solution, simplifies the deployment and management of various automation types, even for users without coding skills. This protocol encompasses four key components, the IDE, the app, the engine, and the marketplace. The Graphlink Integrated Development Environment, IDE, enables users to create automation through a drag and drop interface. It visually represents the automation process and allows users to connect different nodes to create complex automation. The Graphlink app is a user-friendly interface for accessing pre-made automation templates and deploying them with a few clicks. Users can customize these templates by updating variables and deploying the automation directly from the app. The Graphlink engine, the protocol's core component, executes automation securely and accurately. Operating on the Graphlink chain, the engine is responsible for correctly processing all data. The Graphlink Marketplace is a platform for users to trade GLQ templates and other automation types. It provides a vast range of automation templates and enables users to connect with others for specific automation types. The Graphlink Chain, a blockchain designed specifically to support the Graphlink protocol, is a proof-of-authority blockchain that offers a secure and scalable platform for automation. In the future, Graphlink intends to expand its ecosystem and create a platform for more decentralized applications to operate on its chain. GLQ currently has a market cap of 20 million. A market cap of 5 billion is possible in a bull run. That is a mind-blowing 250x from here. As our final project, we would like to highlight Atlas Navi. Navi app utilizes a smartphone's camera and artificial intelligence to analyze road conditions continuously, aiding drivers in avoiding traffic. The application is instrumental in transmitting vital information to other drivers. This in turn aids in the rapid alleviation of road congestion. The app is capable of processing a volume of data that is approximately 100 times more than any other navigation app currently available. This revolutionary technology is built on the robust platform provided by NVIDIA. Navi holds the distinguished title of being the world's first AI system that offers an unparalleled level of compute density performance, and flexibility. The data center, which is a crucial component of the system, uses inferencing techniques to ingest, curate, and annotate this data. The processed data is then utilized for AI model training. Navi also features a multi-layered approach to security, which ensures that your AI enterprise has the most robust security posture. This approach covers all major hardware and software components, thus providing comprehensive protection. The app's capacity to avoid traffic congestion is superior to any other solution currently available. The application leverages cutting-edge technology, such as machine learning and computer vision neural networks, to interpret the road as seen by smartphone cameras. The Atlas Navi apps have already been developed for both Android and iOS, with 90% of the functionality being available. As a real utility navigation app that relies on AI analysis of video feeds from smartphone cameras, 
Navi had to ensure that the large amount of data generated by real-time detections of traffic functions flawlessly. Navi currently has a market cap of 10 million. Navi is a unique AI project, and it could reach a market cap of 2 billion in a bull run. That is a crazy 200x from here. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and put notifications on to stay updated on all the latest crypto trends.